Hello everyone, and welcome to the 116 Panzer Division Company Heroes Commentary, with me your host, Blood Raven. And now, here we have Hans, I hope you like Hans, with his little MP40. There we go. Alright, and we are on the map, Angoville, and we have Sturmovic playing in the bottom corner, against the Allied player, who's American, and Spooky5900. Okay. Alright, uh, things to note on this map. Um, it's all all the resources are evenly split as you can see we've got the 16 munitions here 16 fuel 16 munitions and corresponding over here 16 munitions etc and fuel also but the only difference on both sides is the victory points here and you have one victory point here and two over here so I recommend normally um, a new player would probably think alright I'm gonna go for the right hand side always because it's got the most victory points however that's not always the case because a good Wehrmacht player might want to go left side lock it all down and then easily move over to the left side and grab that victory point once he's got it locked down okay so we've got an idea of the map now and um, I think we shall get this underway yep right let's go so we have our very own Sturmovic building Pioneers and what he's got is he going into construction straight away? Yes, he is. He's getting his Wehrmacht quarters straight up. Over on the top, we have the American Spooky Engineers. He's moving out. He's not building his infantry bar his barracks yet or his weapon support set to start. We have the second Pioneers coming out. Power building, good idea. You want to get your first unit on the on the field as soon as possible. And that's going up quickly. And what's he going to build first then? Let's have a look. Um, he looks like he's going to go for some Volksgrenadiers. Oh yeah. Interesting choice of first cap order this guy. I would probably go on straight away for the fuel. Like two cap. So you would go from first pioneers would capture this over here. This manpower point, And your second um, set of engineers would capture this um, point. So then you have an immediate fuel income. Which is really key. Interesting style. What Sermovic's done? He sent off one pioneer out for this left-hand side, and he's got to send his right over to capture this manpower point. Interesting. And now uh, Spooky is going to capture the fuel, which is good strat. If he is, is he going to capture the fuel? Maybe soon. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's decided not to do that. No idea why. Oh, no, he's going back to it. He's he's very indecisive, this engineer. These engineers don't know what to do. Okay, and these Volksgrenadiers on the move. Probably going to quickly assault the uh, engineers, which are trying to capture the fuel. And it's looking all good here. Ah, uh, but he's backing it up with an extra um, engineer squad. Oh, no, he's building a medic tent. I think it's a bit too early to build that straight away when he's got nothing to support it. And it's good he Stovic's using like the light cover very well. They're using the maximum available cover for him. Oh, he's lost a man already down. Yep, Stovic's advancing, still using the good cover. Good idea. Take an extra casualty. Better retreat that engineer squad before it dies. He has retreated it. Backing it up with some pioneers, helping. And will they finish off that annoying medic tent? They have. Oh no, he's going to lose that squad. Oh, they lost an engineer squad already. That's bad. It looks like the American player is taking a lot of casualties. And he's at first rifle squad hasn't even fit the hit the field yet. Oh, here it comes. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Right, this American player is not using the light cover that's available to him in this fight, where Sermovic is, so he should effectively win this confrontation. And he's fighting at range, as Volksgrenadiers always fight better at range against rifles, and and rifles are the exact opposite. This engineer, this pioneer squad, is just lying around doing nothing. He probably should be out capping one of these points. You want this fuel. This fuel was really key to be having straight away, or even this fuel. You need it, which you hope he's capping now. Capping under fire is a very bad idea. It take extra damage because you, because um, you get improved accuracy against uh, improved accuracy against you when you're capping points. Subvex being very aggressive. Here we go. 
I'm going to take down some rifles. Oh no, he's moving a lot. I think they were set on chart, attacking the retreating lot. That sometimes happens, which can be annoying if you're not careful. These, both these Volksgrenadiers are quite weak and they're not really attacking the uh, rifles. But he's backed away, but Americans being a bit cocky, being, he's going to charge him. He knows they're very weak. Oh, but we have an MG42. Lovely. Look at that. It immediately suppresses them. Stenvin goes up to finish the job with his remaining Volks Grenadiers. Very nice. This MG could be moving up though, because it's uh, our range now. Should be putting it like here in the green, in the light cover, so it would be covering the whole, that whole field. If you see the range on that. Sturm should be using his troops and putting them in the, in the cover right there, so they take less damage against that jeep, and they might finish off that rifle squad if he if he focuses fire it, but unfortunately not. Alright, there's green cover here from this uh, broken down car which he should use. And Sturm has capped all these points. He's got two MGs on the field. He's got a lot of fuel. Should be I think he might should have um next thing that he should get is tech instead of getting more Volks grenadiers. He's an excessive fuel, so you might want to go tier three. Because the opponent hasn't got much fuel, all he's got is an income of five fuel, and he has both high munition, high fuels. Oh, it's taking a lot of casualties. That rifle squad hasn't got a chance. And good, he's moved up his MG. Still could be more aggressive with it. Keep moving it up. Keep locking down. Keep advancing and grabbing more territory. These poor folks going to do is very weak. Should get back in friendly territory and use a medic kit, but hopefully Sturm has tech by now. He's got he's got enough munitions. He could be planting mines, taking up, making flamers on his um, pioneers. It could be a, a extra damage, or he put a medic tent down because he knows he's got a lot of box grenadiers, and he can he can and he's about he might lose some of them in a minute, and therefore he can cash in on free grenadier squads. And Sturm's capping the whole left hand side without any challenge, which is nice. Again, cap again, capping under fire, bad idea because taking needless casualties. Uh, this MG all these MGs could be keep moving up. Hopefully we'll move this one up now. Yep, here we go. Still not using the green cover here, man. Oh two of them are. That squad needs to retreat. It's got no. It, it's got hardly any health. Both of these squads need to get out of here, man. And he's forgotten about this pioneer squad. It should cap this point. But sadly, I can't do that because this is an old game. Um. And what is he building? He's building a Krieg barracks. He's taking up, which is good. So I wonder what he's going to get. He, if he, because he's got he's going heavy infantry, and the opponent guys have gone weapon support centre. Uh, has gone a weapon support centre. Um, even though um, Semvik doesn't know this yet, he can once he sees um, an MG on the field or a sniper, then he knows that he's gone heavy infantry. So therefore, he can get probably a half track out. Or oh no, what's happening here? All oh, these poor Volks, get out of there, man! Don't lose them. Oh, I think Semvik's forgotten about them now. Man, they, that guy got us, got away with a slither of health. Oh no, no, no! Is he gonna die? Oh, oh he makes it. He makes it. Oh, here we go. There's a bit of forward thinking from Sturm. He's thinking of trying to lock down this area, stop him moving in, and trying to capture these points. Good idea. Meanwhile, um, as he's not being under attack to get, um, he's not um, Sturm Vic's not being attacked. He could be capping these points with his Vox Grenadier squads that are lying around. These MGs can be moving up, can take advantage of this green cover. Now he's got a mortar and as soon as that mortar starts hitting his troops he knows he's going to have to support at the start. So therefore Sturm should immediately think, alright I'm going to tech up quickly and go Pumas and that'll, that'll be game over straight away. But instead he's gone to Krieg Barracks. 
Although he hasn't seen bars yet, so therefore we can assume that the opponent's got a lot of um, fuel. However, he only... Oh, that poor guy. Get out of there! Anyway, oh, anyway however, um, simvic has got all the fuel, all the high fuel on the map, so he knows... So he should know that um, the other player has nothing. All he has is that poor five fuel income. So if we ever look at Spooky's perspective, he's only got 58 fuel, that's nothing. It's only about enough to get bars, which he'll probably get. And if he does get bars, then Sturman's got even the more reason to tech up and get Pumas or even Oswins out, because he's definitely got enough fuel for it. He's also got plenty of enough munitions to use on placing mines on these choke points along here, where where it's likely he's going to come down on flank or in these little corridor bits as there's no action going on. MG's backed off a bit. And yeah, that pass quickly near squad's got to get out of there. Oh, he's using some of his munitions on MP40s, which is quite good if he gets in close range with them. Oh, there goes the mortar again. Maybe Sturm's thinking of a flank move going around the right hand corner with his folks in the centre. And here comes his half track. Nice, good idea. Because he. Cause he it's a good idea to have a half track on the field, if you, especially if you've got a lot of infantry, because then you can reinforce on the go. Oh man, that mortar shot's lucky. Yeah, it's a good idea to put a Pioneer Squad in it rather than a Volks Grenadier Squad, because Pioneer Squad's uh, much weaker and than a Volks Grenadier Squad, which could be doing much more. This MG could be helping, moving it there, pinning all those Volks Grenadier Squads, uh, not Volks Grenadier Squads, it's Riflemen. Oh, that mortar is taking, making him take so much casualties. Oh no, man, that is horrible. A whole fox move this got died. Although it looks like Sturm's angry now, They're bringing out the gun, big guns. Lots of fox going to do squads coming in. Oh, don't you love the sound of those MP40s? Oh, well, it got some veterancy on those. This rifles, here we go. Sturm's got to be careful now. If this mortar hits one there, that's going to really hurt. You should spread out a bit and use this green cover. However, the mortar's gone down. Oh, see what I mean? It's grouping with against like their weapon support um, against weapon support teams is terrible because you'll take he enormous casualties. And now if we look at Sturm's manpower, he's got a lot of manpower still. He could be getting veterancy for his Volks as he's obviously going heavy infantry with all his Volks Grenadiers with MP40s. They'd be much more effective. Um, and he's gone infantry assault. He's, get, he's gone blitz. Interesting. He's got enough. I've probably gone terror as he's got enough um, munitions to drop a firestorm in this area. Clearing it all off and easily coming back with an MG. Planting it there and then it's GG because he's got no more territory left. It's already GG anyway because the American player hasn't even bothered to go over this left hand side. I still don't, and he's, and Stem's cleverly put an MG here because he wants to lock down, hold down the um, victory point 